everybody, Cindy A. Lewis here. Time for another quick and easy craft. This is a fun way to alter recipe cards. Use it as a journaling card, stick it inside a pocket, or you can make it a pocket. So this is an old one that I picked up at a yard sale. This uh, recipe card is just really an index card. I love how it looks so vintage already. All I'm doing is taking some tacky glue and just spreading it all over. And then I've got a piece of tissue from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna lay that on there and just make sure all the bubbles get out all the way to the edge. And even if there are some bubbles, it's really okay. Then all I'm gonna do as this is drying is gently pull the excess tissue away. For mine, I am using a circle. This is a four inch circle and I folded it in half. And I'm gonna use some green because I'm using green tissue to accent the edges. This is called grasshopper and around the edges here. Then the next thing is just to decide where you want your half circle to be. It kind of looks like an envelope in a way. And so I love that look. And I'm just going to add a little tacky glue to the bottom, not all the way to the crease. And then at the top, and then I'm going to lay my in my recipe card, index card right here, kind of center that circle and make sure I've got that there. All right. Now to add that kind of cool envelope look, I'm using an old vintage button and I'm using some of my thread and my needle, and I'm gonna show you how I put that through. Just turn my, my holes to the side. That's how I want mine. And I'm just gonna poke my needle through all the layers. Then I'm gonna pull my thread through and leave a little bit so that I can tie a knot. Now, if I have my button where I want it, uh, the easiest way to find this hole, again, is just to come back from the front and stick through so I can see where that hole is going to be and then pull it back through. So that makes sense. And then I'm going to tie this off. You can definitely put a little dot of glue on there to hold your thread. Make sure it doesn't come untied. I'm just going to for sake of time, really quickly, just give that a double tie and a little snip. All right, so now it's really on to decorating. So for me, I'm just gonna take a couple of these um, black and white um, flower stickers. These are from Timu. I don't know if you can find them anywhere else, but they're really pretty and inexpensive. And they just add so much to this particular look. If it falls off the end there a little bit, that's okay. I just cut that off. Then I'm gonna add the other one. Told you this was a quick and easy way to alter recipe cards and really and truly, they're just really pretty. Now you could mix your colors as well. So, all right. So we're gonna put this one on here. And I love these little black and white flowers. All right, then, the only thing I have left to do is add a little sentiment. So I've got this, you are loved. I'm gonna go around with the same green that I put around the edges, this grasshopper, and just add this to the middle there. So you can see how quick and easy to alter these recipe cards are, and I'm gonna be making some more. These are really fun. Of course, you don't have to do this with the circle, but I really love the way it finishes it off. All right, well, thanks so much for watching this quick and easy craft. If you would like to see more quick and easy crafts, just post below, and uh, please let me know if you're new, where you're from, um, and just say hi, because I like to say hi back. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.